Hello viewers, I am Deepthi Hans. Today I am going to cover an important topic from mathematics that is circles. Now we are going to discuss about theorems related to circle. First theorem is if a straight line is drawn from the center of a circle, a straight line is drawn which bisects the chord AB means in two equal parts. This AL is equal to LB, then angle, then this straight line makes an angle of 90 degree with this chord. 90 degree with LB and again 90 degree with A. It means angle OLA, angle OLA as well as angle OLB is equal to 90 degree. Vice versa, in the question, if this is given that this line is perpendicular to the chord, then again this uh, this L point is bisecting the chord. It means L is the midpoint of this chord AB. It means AL is equal to LB. So this is our first theorem. Now second theorem is equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. Equal chord means suppose this AB is one chord and another chord is CD of the same length. Suppose the length of AB is 5 cm and length of CD is again 5 cm. It means these two are equal chords. So the distance of this CD chord from the center is same as that of this chord A. Suppose this distance is 3 cm, then it is given that this distance is again going to be 3 cm. So this is our second theorem. Equal chords are equidistant from the center. Or vice versa, if it is given that chords are equidistant from the center, then it is clear, then the chords are equal in length. Next theorem is the angle subtends by an arc at the center of the circle is double to the angle subtended by this arc, remaining part of the circle. It means, suppose this is our arc APB, this is the center of the circle, this angle AOB, suppose it is of 60 degree, then the angle made by this same arc APB on the remaining part of the circle means anywhere on the circumference of the circle, its measure is half than 60, any 30 degree. So angle, angle AOB is double of angle ADB. AOB is 60 degree, ADB is 30 degree. It means this angle subtend at the center is double. It is double and it is half. On the remaining part of the circumference means we can make any arc on this part. But the points are same here. APBR makes an angle of AEB. Then this AEB is again 30 degree. The arc may be anywhere on the remaining part of the circle. It may be anywhere. It is again of 30 degree. Next theorem is angle in the same segment of a circle are equal. Same segment means as we know. This APB is the segment. The APB, this is the segment. And then we have this APB segment at any part of the, on the circumference of a circle. If this makes an angle of, suppose 40 degree, then on the remaining part of the circumference, again it makes an angle of 40 degree. Anywhere on the circumference. Suppose it is here, it is of 40 degree. Next theorem is angle in a semicircle is a right angle. How we draw a semicircle? It means we need to draw a diameter of the circle which passes to the center. So angle made by diameter means this angle on the circumference of the circle. This angle should be of 90 degree. 90 degree. Angle A, P, B is of 90 degree because this is given that this is the diameter of the circle. 
Always ensure before choosing this angle as 90 degree that this should be given in the question that O, A, O, B is the diameter or O is the center, line passing to the center so that we can assure that the angle made by this diameter remaining part of the circumference anywhere if it is drawing here then this angle again be of 90 degree. So angle made by diameter on any part of the circumference is of near 90 degree. Next theorem is opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Supplementary means the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. In a circle, quadrilateral is inscribed inside. All the four corners of the quadrilateral or polygon should lie on the circumference of the circle. Then Opposite angles, suppose this A and this B, their sum is going to be 180 degree. Angle, angle CAD, angle CAD plus angle DBC, angle DBC is equal to 180 degree. It means supplementary. Sum of these two opposite angles is 180 degree. Suppose we are taking one angle as x, then another angle is 180 minus x. Similarly, these two are also opposite angles. So if this angle is y, then what is the value of this angle? This is 180 minus y. Another important theorem is exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to interior opposite angle. Cyclic quadrilateral is again which we have drawn. All the four corners lie on the circle. And this is the exterior angle. Exterior angle. Suppose this A, B, C, G is a cyclic quadrilateral. Then angle CDE is the exterior angle. This exterior angle CDE is equal to interior opposite angle means this angle B is equal to angle ABC. If the mirror of this exterior angle is suppose let's say it is 70 degree then opposite angle ABC is again is of 70 degree. If Let's take this as the exterior angle. If this is the exterior angle, then the angle opposite to this is angle A. If this angle is X, then this angle B, A, D is again going to be X degree. Let us solve a few questions using these theorems. So first question is, this is given that O is the center of the circle. Angle a, C, B is given as 50 degree. So, what should be the angle at the center of the circle? What should be angle A, O, B? Using our theorem, this angle should be double. Double, which theorem? The angle subtended by R, A, B at the center of the circle is double of the angle subtended by R at circumference of the circle. So the angle subtended by this R A B at the circumference is 50 degree. So angle at the center should be twice of this. It means 100 degree. So angle A O B is 100 degree. This angle 100. Now as we know that A O is equal to O B both are radius of the same circle. So they are equal. It means if this angle is x, then this angle should be x because we know the property that equal sides subtend equal angles. So angle, if here is x, then it should be x here. Now come to Anderson property in triangle AOB. According to Anderson property, the sum of three angles of the triangle should be equal to 180 degree. So x plus 100 plus x is equal to 180 degree. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 100 transpose it. Now 80, 2x is equal to 80. So what is the measure of x? It is 80 upon 2 that is 40 degree. So th this angle OAB is equal to 40 degree. As well as OBA is equal to 40 degree. 
So next question is, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABC is a quadrilateral inside the circle. One angle BAD is given as 105 and side BC is parallel to side AD. Now using the theorem, sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So angle BCD, angle BCD is equal to 180 minus 105. It means 75 degree. So this angle should be of 75 degree because the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Theorem tells us that these angles are supplementary. So our first angle which they tell us to find, BCD is equal to 75 degree. We need to write the theorem inside the bracket that angles are supplementary. Now second step is we need to find the angle ADC. ADC, we need to find this angle. Now it is given that these two lines are parallel. So CD is the transversal. When these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal, angles on same side of the transversals are again supplementary. So the sum of these two angles should be again 180 degree. So suppose this angle is x, then 75 plus x again equal to 180 degree because these are co-interior angles. These are co-interior angles. Because these lie on the same side of the transversal. So x is equal to 180 minus 75. It means 105. So the pair of second angle ADC is angle ADC is 105. This is 105. So third thing they ask them to tell ABC. ABC means this angle. Again, these angles are supplementary. So, if this is 105, what is the value of this angle? 180 minus 105, it means this is of 75 degree. We need to write the theorem that these are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So, they are supplementary. 180 minus 105 is 75 degree. Angle ABC is equal to 180 minus 105, it means it is 75. Next question is, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral with center O. So it means it is clear from the question that AB is the given diameter of the circle. Next given thing is angle ADC which is 130. Angle ADC which is 130 degree and we need to find angle BAC in this question. BAC means we need to find this angle. So, first theorem which we use in this uh, question is opposite angles are supplementary in a cyclic quadrilateral. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. A, D, C, B, all the four corners of this quadrilateral lie on the circumference of the circle. So, this is a clear uh, indication that it is a uh, cyclic quadrilateral. So, A, B, C, B is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, angle opposite to this is this. A, B, C. So, angle A, B, C is equal to 180 minus 130. It means 50 degree. Why? We need to give the theorem because ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and opposite angles are supplementary. We can just write opposite angles are supplementary in the bracket. So this angle is of 50 degree. Now, as we need to find this angle, so first we need to use another theorem is in the same question which is angle in a semicircle is a right angle. This is the diameter of the circle and this angle ACB is of the mirror 90 degree. ACB is 90 degree but we write angle in a semicircle. Semicircle so this angle ACB is 90 degree. Now come to triangle. In triangle ACB, we need to take this triangle ACB in which one angle is 90 and another is 50. We can calculate this angle with the help of angle sum property. So this angle CAB plus 90 plus 50 is equal to 180 degree according to angle sum property. So angle CAB 
is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 50. It means 140. So angle comes to 40 degrees. So angle CAB is equal to 40 degree. This is our next figure. In this angle, we have to calculate angle BAD. First identify which is angle BAD. So this angle we need to calculate. And the other angle is BQB. BQB means this angle we need to calculate. So as we can see, A, B, C, D is the cyclic quadrilateral and opposite angles are supplementary using this theorem. This angle can be calculated. So angle A, B, C, angle A, B, C is equal to 180 minus 85, which means 95. Opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary means the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees, so 95. The value of this angle is 95. Now, we need to see a triangle inside this figure and this triangle is ABP. In triangle ABP, this is ADP. This is a triangle ADP. In this triangle, these two angles, you can see one angle is 85 and another is 40 degrees. So in this triangle ADP, if two angles are given, then third angle can, can be calculated using angle sum property. So angle DAP plus 85 plus 40 is equal to 180 degrees. So angle DAP is equal to 180 minus 85 plus 40. It means 180 minus 84, 125. It means it is 55 degrees. So angle DAP is equal to 55 degrees. Now we are ready with this angle. Now look at another triangle in the same figure which is AQB. AQB is the triangle. Now in triangle AQB a, Q, B, two angles are given. Then easily we can calculate the third angle, which is A, Q, B. So angle A, Q, B plus angle 55 plus 95 is again equal to 180 degree according to angle sum property. Whenever we use this statement, write in the bracket according to angle sum property. So angle A, Q, B is equal to 180 minus transpose. 55 plus 95, 180 minus 10, 50, it means 30 degree. So angle AQB is equal to 30 degree. So this angle comes out to be 30 degree, BAD is 55 degree and DQB is 30 degree. So one is B, BAD is 55 degree and DQB is 30 degree. These two are the answers of this question. If you have any doubts regarding this topic, then please do tell me in my comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in my upcoming videos. If you learned something new, then please like and share my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.